This is a quick look at Highland. Highland is a new utility we're launching today. It's a screenplay converter for Macintosh. It's designed to help you work with the kind of files you need to work with as a screenwriter. First, let's take a look at Fountain. Fountain is a plain text screenwriting format we announced last week. Everything in Fountain is just a text file. If I open this in any old text editor, I'm using TextMate here, you see Fountain. Fountain is just text. Character names are uppercase. The line below a character's name is dialog. Fountain files are really simple, and Highland makes it simple to convert between these and a real screenplay. Just drag it in. On the left-hand side, you see your fountain. And over on the right-hand side, you have choices for what to export it as, either Final Draft or a PDF. Let's do Final Draft first. We save it. And here's the file. So this is Big Fish as a Final Draft file. And this is what it looks like in Final Draft. You can see Highland did a great job converting Fountain into a full editable screenplay. Now, Final Draft by itself can actually open a, a Fountain file, but Highland does a better job. Highland can take a look at a lot of the special formatting in a Fountain file and convert it to what Final Draft needs. Now, another choice is a PDF. Let's look and see what Highland does with a PDF. Again, we save it. And this is the PDF. Here's Big Fish as a PDF, and Highland has made it all by itself. It didn't have to use Final Draft or any other application to figure out the formatting. Now, part of the reason why we're launching in beta is because we're not always perfect with some of our line breaks. We want these files to look great, and the only way we can do that is by using a lot of different scripts and a lot of different screenwriters to get the best possible results. But we did a pretty good job here. It looks like something you'd want to hand in. Now, another format you might be using as a screenwriter is Final Draft, or an FDX file. Let's take a look at how Highland handles FDX files. Drag it in. So this is Charlie's Angels. Highland interpreted it by itself. It didn't have to use Final Draft to open it. And we have two choices here. We can export it as Fountain or as a PDF. First, let's take a look at exporting it as Fountain. We save it here. And this is the file. So it took the Final Draft file and moved it back down to Fountain. And everything seems to come through pretty well. Character names, dialogue, parentheticals. Another choice is a PDF. Let's take a look. Here's the PDF. And when we open it up, here's the file as a PDF. And it did this without using Final Draft at all. This is just our Highland doing the interpretation. Now, the last format you're likely to work with as a screenwriter is a PDF. And so here's a script of a very old script of mine that I wrote called Fenwick Suit. And I only have it as a PDF, and I'd like to go back and edit it. With Highland, that's really easy. Just drag it in. And here's the script. On the left-hand side, we're just showing you the PDF right now. And we have two choices. We can export this as Fountain or Final Draft. First, let's take a look at Fountain. Here's the script in Fountain. So what Highland was able to do is to look through the whole PDF and figure out what elements were what element based on indentation, uh, based on where pages were breaking. So it figured out, well, that must be a character name. This must be dialogue. And you, suddenly you have your whole screenplay that was just frozen as a PDF, melted back down to its basic elements. We can do the same to create a final draft file. This is Fenwick's suit as a final draft file. And here it is open in final draft. So that took about five seconds. And often when you're dealing with PDFs of screenplays, if you need to get it back to an editable format, you're talking hours of work. A lot of times you're retyping the whole thing. So this is a huge game changer. So this is a quick look at Highland. We are launching today in beta. We're looking for people to help us test it out. Ultimately, we're going to be in the Mac App Store. If you're interested in finding out more information about Highland, visit us at quoteunquoteapps.com slash Highland. Thanks.